Hey, bye. It's me, Ian. And today I'm going to talk about this. This is a film called 51, sometimes known as Area 51, um, and it's from 2011. And it's my bargain of the week. This I picked up, um, as I do uh, in online, um, at CEX online for a pound. And it's turned out to be a pound well spent, as I say. I knew I would enjoy it, and I did enjoy it. Because, as you know, if I don't enjoy it, if I'm not going to watch it again, it doesn't go in collection. No. This is going in the collection. And I'm going to talk about it. And hopefully you might want to watch it as well. So, here we go. Uh, this... Uh, um, is from a series of After Dark productions. They started to produce a lot of um, uh, horror films. Um, and this is a horror sci-fi film um, in that area. Uh, and also, um, it, it was then broadcast on uh, Sci-Fi Channel. Um, and... Um, they did produce some really good films. I've got some others um, uh, in my collection um, from the similar era. And, um, yeah, um, this is a, a good film. It's basically sci-fi horror, if you want to put it like that. And it is actually quite gory. <laughs> and uh, you might not expect that. Um, it all plays into the... Um, Area 51 mythology, you know, Area 51 is supposedly the place where aliens are being kept, you know, by America who deny it and say that this isn't happening. No, no, this is not happening. This is good sci-fi mythology. Um, oh, I think uh, um, people got more interested when the X-Files got going, the old sort of X-Files thing. And this has got an X-Files vibe but um, much more um, harder, if you want, uh, more horrific um, take on it. Um, uh, this uh, stars um, somebody who I know quite well. Um, I can never get his second name <laughs> pronounced right, but I'm going to say it. His name is Bruce Boxletina. Yeah, Bruce, it's Bruce, anyhow, from Babylon 5. That's how I know him. And he's appeared in a few things recently. Uh, recently, we've seen him uh, in the Orville, actually, under a pile of makeup. But anyhow, here he is in this. And it's, oh, yeah, you can tell Bruce is there. The lad's there. And uh, he's playing the role of uh, the uh, sort of bl bloke who has to go around with these reporters trying to say to them, well, actually, we don't keep aliens here, you know, because they've all opened up. Basically, you've got two reporters and their assistants who go into this place. Oh, government! Of course, we know that's a load of bull bull. And he's got to pretend, keep them away from certain areas, um, that uh, everything is... Uh, just what they say. There's no aliens. And of course, you know, straight away, this is not going to work out well. And of course it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work out well at all. Because the reporters suddenly realise that they are covering things up and things go very wrong when the aliens decide to break out make a run for it. The great thing about these aliens, which I love, is that they, they, they spent a bob or two on them. I think the special effects are quite good. They're not your nice, cuddly, friendly aliens, no. These are like shape-shifting aliens who'll take over bodies who, um, when you actually see what they look like, they're sort of a an eyebrow kind of alien uh, film uh predator kind of thing they're all a mixture of those kind of things that they bung together 
and they're quite frightening, and they certainly know how to give a good kill, I'll tell the hey, uh, whoopee, get out of the way, the soldiers and the reporters have got to be on the guard because they're coming after them and they don't know what's going. I mean, the whole thing, is it's mad, it's daft, but it's great as well. It's so entertaining. If you like this kind of thing, which I do, I love. I mean, let's face it, there'll be the snobs and be saying, oh, my God, and... And then what a few saying, oh, there's no special here, and uh, oh, this isn't very good. No, it is actually very well acted. It's it's good. It's good. They do what they do really well. And I think the special effects and the aliens are really good. They are. They're entertaining. They, they don't look bad at all. Just all you need to do is just sit back and enjoy it. And enjoy it. Uh, just, just enjoy it. And that's what you do. If you like this kind of thing, that's great. Obviously, some people don't. And, Fair enough. Takes all sorts, as we say. But if you liked, like, sci-fi horror, this is this is good. It's worth watching. It's not good being snobby about it. Just enjoy it. And that's what it is. And, well, he always gives a good performance as Bruce, yeah. That, um, that role. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, actually, the other... Eight, um, let me just give you a bit more information. The, um, the uh, other actor is John Shear. Now, John Shear, I knew when well, I saw, I won't recognize this place. He was from uh, the uh, uh, New Adventures of Superman, you know. Uh, um, he played Lex Luthor in the 1990s. And then he was in Mutant X, another classic series that not everybody probably remembers, but some of us do. Yeah, some of us do remember these things. Anyway, in sort of cult TV kind of terms, just a, that's thrown in. And now, we're, now I always try and get links, as you might guess. In um, I got, I don't think I've got a James Bond link. I could think on this one, but anyhow, let me just tell you, it's directed by Jason Connery. Oh, I have got, got I said it. I have got the son of Sean Connery. It was James Bond. There we are. How do I do it? I don't know. I don't know, but there we are. It's just always oh, a James Bond link. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, Jason Connery, I knew really is um, the uh, playing of uh, Robin Hood, uh, Robin of Sherwood, as it was. He, he joined the second series and became uh, Robin Hood in it. And also, I, I'm, I always have to sneak one in as well. A Doctor Who link. It was in Vengeance of Varos. Six Doctor story, which was quite controversial at the time, actually. One of those uh, controversial stories. Uh, anyhow. So there we are. That's Jason Connery, and he's got a whole string. You look at his filmography, and the uh, stuff he's involved in, it's massive. It's a whole massive TV history. Um, and f a bit of film history, but a lot of TV stuff. Anyhow, there it is. He directed this, and... Uh, what a good! I think he does a good job. Yeah, good job there, lad. Yeah, bye. Good job there. Uh, so we've got that. Um, what else can I say? Um, it's 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 just uh, so enjoyable. And um, if you want to spend, you know, about ninety minutes, here you are. You can't go wrong. And I, I'm looking forward to watching it again. I love it. I love this kind of thing. I love the alien, um, all these alien conspiracies and the, you know, you can't beat a bit of Area 51 and uh, Roswell's and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Good stuff. It's good. It's good fun, isn't it? You know, so that's what the X-Files did. You know, it had such an influence of how you see all these things, you know, so entertaining and, um, yeah, very enjoyable. And I would recommend this. And uh, this was my bargain of the week. A pound. Pound, eh? You can't go wrong for a pound, can you? Eh? And, as I say, it's in the collection. It's not going anywhere. And it's going to be seen again. And I'm going to enjoy it in years to come. Well, whatever years are left, anyhow. Um, so, there we are. And uh, all I've got to say then is... That's it. Um, subscribe if you're interested in like what I do. Um... If you like it, give it a like as well. And then, well, what else is there to say? But 
I'll see thee, and I'll see thee again.